Hi there, welcome to the Collector's Nook. Today we're going to be checking out a Horns Giant Silkworm. Not actually a worm, folding pocket knife. This one's black and yellow. I don't know if they come in other colors, but this one's black and yellow. It's got a G10 handle with a plain edge, 14C28N. 14C28N. Okay. I heard a lot about this knife and I was excited because if you check this bad boy out, ugh, there we go. It's a little stiff. We just got this knife not too long ago, about a week ago, and I've been pocketing it. And uh, to be honest with you, um, the aesthetics of it look great. Um, the contouring on this handle, on this G10, is fantastic. It's like a worm. It's like it rippled. It is actually raised and rippled. You yeah. can feel it when you run your finger across Even though there's it. not that much of a palm swell, it, give, it, it, it gives you that feeling like the, 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 uh, the handle has palm swells in it. But uh, very nice handle. Um, you know, G10's light. And uh, I think one of the reasons that it feels so light is that if you look close in here, as you see that the liner's in there, which is pretty cool because this knife is what like under fifty bucks. It's yeah, like you they, can find it for under fifty bucks. So we got it for like sites. we got it for like thirty five dollars. Um, and as you see there, the, the liners don't go all the way through. The scales work as uh, the G ten works as the bottom half of the liners. So that's pretty cool. And, and it's inlaid in there. Um, let's see if I can get the. I know it's on bronze washers on both sides. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I think one of the reasons why it is it is still pretty st stiff. Um, you have the crossbar lock which is uh once again pretty stiff um i've only had it for about a week i put some oil in it and uh to be honest with you guys this crossbar lock is pretty sharp these things are pretty sharp they're not rounded very well so it's you can feel it when you pull the tension back like that srm we reviewed the other day it had that design flaw with that uh lanyard loop in it that making a hot spot in your palm basically a palm puncturer <laughs> this once again I, once again i have small hands so uh for for someone bigger hands they could probably grip this better because i see with these axis bar locks or whatever you want to call them that uh you have to put tension you know you gotta put you gotta pull back so you're gonna be resting this palm well somewhere in your palm and uh, this one luckily doesn't have a palm puncture but it does have a, a swoop so in it so if you're pulling back and you have wet hands you don't have gloves as you see that that contouring there and if you have small hands like me, it will want to just work its way out of your hand. So if it wasn't for this pocket clip, which I like, the pocket clip is just, a, you know, it's a good looking pocket clip. Um, it's reversible. And if you look close, it does have where they milled out the G10 where that pocket clip actually sets in there. Um, your screws are raised up, which is for under, for under 45 bucks, I mean under 50 bucks, I mean it's great. The centering's great. Um, they give you another set of pocket screws, which is kind of crazy. Um, I like the lanyard hold they, they put on it. Unlike that, uh, that's where that that's where that SRM should have put their lanyard. But I, I know it was a, a little uh, the the contouring in that handle was different, so they they made that metal pommel palm puncture. Um, this knife, the thumb studs, double ambidextrous thumb studs. You got both sides, so lefty and righty love. Um, the thumb studs are really hard to get to. They seem like they're really shallow. They're like really they're shallow and just like Barely that, above the scales. It, it, yes, barely above the scales, exactly. So when you go try to get that, you're really using your thumbnail getting in there. And man, as stiff as this thing is right now, which like I said, I had for about a week, it will rip open your finger down here and it kind of hurts. I don't sound like <laughs> a little, I don't want to sound like a wuss or nothing, but uh, it, 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 you can feel it. It's uncomfortable. Um, let's see here, the jimping they put on the spine. Uh, as you see, once again, with the G10, they actually milled out that G10 where it sets in flush there. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it's a little sharp. And uh, they have jimping up here on, on the blade, which, let me set that down. If, if you look close there, uh, what do you say, the swedge that they grinded in there? Mm -hmm. I guess at the factory, whoever is working on the blade, they actually, ref they actually hit that too. So the jimping on here is really, really smooth and really nice as it follows the, 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 the swedge grind that they put on the blade unfortunately i don't think whoever's working on the blades is working on this scale on the on the, on the liners because those are pretty sharp um not <laughs> so too got not too bad nothing that you can fix yourself with a quick file you know but it's not too bad a little um, bit of a different uh point yeah exactly yeah you got uh barrel spacers with that uh full see-through construction so easy to clean um I mean, just looking at it, I, we had we have gardens here, um, especially growing up. My grandfather would grow tomatoes here, of course, and uh, 
he'd get these worms in the garden that look like these and they have a big old horn that comes off the back of them. So this <laughs> totally reminded me that um, I think that what you're getting here for is not only just good looks, um, is you're getting that, that 14C28N. The giant shit worm. <laughs> it's silkworm. <laughs> the giant silkworm, I mean. It's not it's not technically a giant. I mean technically it's it's a fairly standard size blade. It's uh, only yeah. only three and a uh, fifteenths of an inch. Is it? Okay. It's three inches and fifteen. How much does so. this knife weigh with that uh, uh its weight is three point six ounces, so it actually weighs on you know, about the same as the uh uh sand what was the SRM? Yeah, yeah. The SRM. Which had like the sandwich liners. And, yeah. And here, here's a little comparison, a little size comparison with Endora. With my Endora 4. Um, you see, it's a pretty big knife, and with that upswept blade, you're going to get just amount of, just just the same amount of cutting surface, if not more, and uh, utilitarian type of uh, work out of it. Um, once again, my Delica, my old school Delica G2. Just to give you a little size comparison, I mean, let me get a better shot here. <laughs> I mean, overall, it's a good-looking knife. Um, for the price we paid for it, yeah, it is what it is. As you see, that that flowed in nice. It is, but it is smooth. It is smooth, but that that spring is stiff. As you see, I can't whip it out there, and that's a yeah. sideways pull. That SRM did a lot better for like twenty-five bucks. And uh, if they would have put a thumb disc on this instead of the 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 thumb studs, I think it would have been better. Just like yeah, that. Yeah, because those thumb studs are really hard to get to, actually. I mean, they, they literally just sit barely above the scales when it's closed. And so just getting your fingers and it, it's you, tough, people. Yeah. It's, it, it's tough. Yeah. It's not, not as comfortable as uh, one might want it to be. But then again, we do have small hands. Yeah, exactly. We have small hands. So, so someone with bigger hands might not be having this issue that we're having. Exactly. Um, with that SRM, though, I, we reviewed the other day. I don't care if your hands are big or not. With that design that they did with the pommel back there, it definitely was going to pull into your hand if you were going to use this bar lock, whether you had big hands or not. But uh, I, we, I said, you know what? This is a good-looking knife. i got to see what this is all about. You know, let's see here. The worm's good. <laughs> are you going to cut something with it? Yeah, here. Hold right. this and I'll, Yeah. Here, let's see here. I'll try to use the thumb. Here, let's do thumb studs again. See, that, oh, that fire, one, that one it's, wasn't too bad. and it's smooth. Once it fires, it's smooth. But uh, telling you, it's, it's just stiff, stiff that, and hard to get to. Yeah, that that getting your purchase on your thumb purchase on there is really it, it starts burning. Oh. Yeah, as you see that fourteen C twenty eight, and I they used to call this like a mild. So I'm trying to do this behind the camera while she's holding it. <laughs> yeah, we're still working. So surprise, surprise, it cuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't think it was gonna cut, babe. It's a worm. <laughs> just a worm. It's just a worm. <laughs> it's a magina. It's a magina. All right, right from pixels. <laughs> you magina. You magina. You poop your pants. You're gonna be thinking of me. In your pants. You'll be you know what of, I mean. You'll be thinking of me in your <laughs> pants. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you got that uh the pocket clip is, is 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 pretty nice it has that uh deep carry yeah uh, and uh just just it's a good looking knife i mean if you got, it is i do like the look of it especially it, it, it was definitely worth checking out do i do i like it yeah i like it but does it cause uh a little bit of hot spots it, 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 it does it has some hot could it spots. use a bit more refinement yeah of course yeah anyways but th that's just our personal opinion yeah <laughs> 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 tell me what you guys think about the giant shit worm Silkworm. 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 <laughs> it's not a dung beetle larva. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, guys. You have a good one. Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks. We'll bye see bye. you again. Bye.